G'day everyone and welcome to Duty Vomitings. I'm Morgan Madison. Now on Duty Vomitar 420 is Glenn Arthur, Simbona of the Century. 2007 Duty and here we go. Shimba and the Spirit are of Rick and I've been asked 400 times, what is, what is the Shimba and the Spirit? And I can't, I can't put into words. Whenever I answer it, I always answer it with a different answer. You've actually been in the four walls of the North Melbourne Football Club for a long time. Um, but it's, it's basically, you know, um, a fighters club, you know, with backs to the wall sort of stuff. We come in the competition in 1925. That was, you know, we were in that area where there wasn't too much money. Um, we couldn't pay players much, and that hasn't really changed for, for an ever, ever another day. Um, uh, the, so when you're trying to explain it, it just does not come out the way you want it to come out. century, which makes it even more special for me, was voted by every player that's played for North Melbourne. So, um, and some people get mixed up the Shin of the century. They think it's, some people obviously aren't around the club, they think it's the best player. It's, it's not the best player, because if it was the best player, <laughs> I wouldn't have won it. We all know Wayne Curry would have won that. But they, they say it's the player that epitomised the Shin spirit the most. So, and for me, that's, I think that's even bigger than being the best player. So that's that's what the board award stands for. He's as fearless as anyone who's played the game. He's strong on principles. His teammates can trust him all the time. And uh, you know it's probably no coincidence that he is the shin bone of the century. Archer with sheer strength. Brilliant. He displays with the spirit of what Australian people love to see in person. Here. Like he likes to win, but I think his motivation really is that he has been beaten. So if you send him out there on the ground and he's on an opponent, um, he'll do everything in his power legally, of course, to, uh, to beat that opponent. And that's why he's been such a great player, because he's never, never beaten. And Glenn Archer has kept the goal that may win the match. I mean, could you have written the script any better? Glenn Archer, 200th game of footy. Mate, you're a true legend of uh, the North Melbourne Football Club, but not only that, the AFL. I don't mind saying, mate, that uh, I do love you and uh, looking forward to uh, celebrating the 300th start today. And the winner of the North Smith Medal is Glenn Archer of North Melbourne. There's plenty of players that have been courageous, you know, when I think of, uh, you think of Wayne and you think of Anthony, but gee, um, it's very hard to, to say anyone's more courageous than Glenn Archer. Uh, he was fearless. Shinbone of the century night, was that 
It was a fantastic night and being named Shinbar of the Century, which I think that's my first name now, because when whenever I get introduced, it's Shinbar of the Century, Glen Archer. Um, it's some, yeah, one of them things that you just didn't expect. Usually with them um, awards nights in footy clubs, best and fairest, all that sort of stuff, you find out who's going to win. For some, for some reason, someone lets it out of the bag, so you, you sort of know who's going to win most things. So, and we had absolutely no, I had absolutely no idea, of course, because I won it. Um, so, one in the morning, they finally got to read out the winner, and I can honestly say I had absolutely no idea it was going to be me. You know, sometimes you can think, oh, there might be a bit of a chance here. I had no idea. You know, I had Wayne Schimmelbush and Keith Gregg and Wayne Carey, Anthony Stevens, I thought I was miles down the run. And there, to call me name out was just absolutely massive. And to stand up there and accept the award in front of three and a half thousand real diehard kangaroos people, it's just a massive honour. Very tough, aggressive, quite shy actually. Um, very likeable. And that's him tonight, Steve with the Robinings. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday night. And it's only on Patterson AFL. Good night, everyone.